Hi, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Andrea. And we're Natural You Yarns. Coming to you for the third and fourth installment. Fourth installment of, of our All About Autumn Knit Along. Which is morphing into Christmas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine's wearing your cowl. You're wearing your cowl. Yes, I'm not um, quite done. You're finished. I'm finished. This is my cowl. With my I haven't blocked it yet, so it's very snug to my face and neck. I still have Can you hear touch. me? <laughs> <laughs> so I have to block it, but I thought it went really nicely with the a sweater I'm wearing today. So, but yes, definitely needs to be blocked because the ends are rolling up and down, and I think with just a little bit more give to it, that won't happen as much. Right. right. It's just like mine, kind of gaps, right? But yeah. when you have a coat on, if you're doing it up and you're freezing, it'll it'll more come in. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna make it another inch or so longer, so that if it's really cold, I can do this with my coat. Mm -hmm. So the slip away cowl I knit on a 3.75 millimeter rather than a 3.5. Um, your cowl, what are you? I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook. Mm. Is that what the pattern called for? Because I. I went up a needle size. I have this feeling this is what the pattern called for. Okay. Because I'm not a, um, I'm not normally a crocheter. I know how to crochet, but I knit. Mm -hmm. And I decided to follow the pattern because everything else I've ever done was granny squares or something where there wasn't even the pattern. Mm -hmm. So this is my first crochet pattern. Nice. Yeah, and it was actually. I did a bubble hat in crochet years ago. You remember that? Popcorn stitch. Mm. I taught myself. I thought it looked cool. I'm going to take this off now. Yes, it is a bit warm, which is really good. I think it's going to keep me nice and warm in the winter months. Well, it gives me an opportunity to put this up front and show it off. Because mm -hmm. all the color, each row is a different color. And I used the scraps. That, and I used a couple minis, but mostly I used all the little bits and pieces that I had left over from all the other mini projects over the year. I love when that happens. Yeah, it, and, and I'm really, really pleased with how um, nice it turned out. So, I used um, purple for, for the background elderberry, lovely lilac um, mini for the two uh, uh, lines, and the one in the middle, I used a pink mini for that. With my leftovers, I am combining it with mohair, and I'm making... Um, I'm designing a new pair of fingerless mitts that they can also be with the option to turn into just mittens. I haven't gotten very far, but... Well, she it's, has. It's just that she's on her second or third go at it. Yeah, I ripped it apart because I decided on a different design. I can't... <laughs> I just decided that that's I was going to do something that's else. That's the best way to design is to, like... Then yeah. you're not working on all the um, prep for it, and then it doesn't work. It's mm. better to just go for it. But these fingerless mitts slash mittens are going to have um, minis incorporated into them. So, uh, just, Stay another, tuned for yeah, that. just another thing to look forward to. Let's recap all the things we've knit. Okay. This past... So, are we starting with like, the first thing we knit or what we knit most recently? Because I finished this cowl immediately. And I finished the hat mm -hmm. and the fingerless mitts. I put them on a mannequin so you can see them. Aren't they gorgeous? Now talk about turning it into just a regular mitten. That was completely an option. But this is great kind of um, cooler months when you still want to be able to use your phone or grab your keys or hold onto the steering wheel, that kind of thing. I and like somebody that. said wear them over your leather gloves so you still have a grip on the steering wheel. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, ages ago, I knit the uh, Marlene Darling slipper socks. And they're... Tell me, I'll tell you, they're nice and warm. Jasmine gave me a pair last year for Christmas, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and they're phenomenal. Several. I've knit several of them. They're a yeah. great way to use up um, your minis. Not that you necessarily want to use them up, but people don't know what to do with them, so this is a great way to incorporate all your favorite colors into something that you wear all the time. I just finished the... Um, scrappy Marl. Scrappy Marl hat. And I... How many minis It's a bit that? slouchy. I did a one, two... I did three minis, and then I had a little bit of um, a full skein left over, and it's what I used tomorrow at the bottom, that color down there. The orangey red was mixed in. Um, but it's a little bit... Yes. 
it's a bit, little bit longer hat, like the, with the potential to be a bit slouchy. So I knit the first marling colors a little bit longer so that I could flip up the brim. But not hide any see. of the magnificence. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. So without hiding anything um, and making it really versatile. Which is really cool the way yours turned out compared to the picture on the pattern even. Yeah. Because the one on the pattern is actually very scrappy and this one is more of a marl fade. Yes, more which of is, a marl fade, which is kind of my favorite. my thing. Yeah. Yeah. I really like fades. <laughs> I'm yeah. always going on about gradient sets and these colors go together and oh, you can make a fade. So that's what I do every time I can. So the one thing that I didn't get started on because I did a side project as well that I'm not ready to show is um, we were going to... We introduced some new patterns last week, including because some people were finished knitting everything. So Jasmine knit the scrappy hat, and I'm going to be knitting the, um, oh my god, I thought the name was there, Moorings hat. And the Moorings hat comes with a cowl pattern as well. This is the one colored, um, okay, yeah, you hold it up. I even hold the page you want to show off. But there we go. I can't talk. I can see it. That's what Angela's trying to show you. Mooring's Hat by Vanessa Ewing. Um, it is also a slip stitch uh, mosaic design. But there's a little bit more to it. There's actually a chart. It, so I'm interested in finding that out. And I'm sorry I haven't started on it yet to be able to show you. Yeah. Thank but you. We have one more week. I think next week is the last one where we will wrap up. We'll show off our finished objects one more time. Maybe yeah. you'll have that hat done by then. Right. Now, the pattern calls for, you could probably do it with two minis, except for the extra, mm -hmm. the large adult, because the pattern's good for anything from infant on up. But um, I, if you want to put an extra bit of brim on it, then you need more yarn in order for the ribbing to be longer or for your hat to be slouchy. So I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna start a full skein of this and use a mini for the for um, the contrast. Mm. I think that'll be pretty. That will be pretty. We yeah. asked last week which colors I should use and this is one that most people decided, I am sure you don't. Know. Yeah, that's what was yeah. decided upon. So I'm just gonna put those over there. Okay. We just had somebody um, grab some yarn and today to join us in the knit along so it is possible to start a little late and still get stuff done but um if you'd like to be entered in the draw i think the draw is going to take place next thursday uh just post your uh finished objects or work in progress pictures to the year of, of adventurous knitting facebook group i'll link it in the show notes um become a member post your pictures and everybody who posts a picture gets a ballot. And um, yeah, yeah. I'll just draw randomly next Thursday. What is, we haven't decided on. No, I think the Canada Post strike has kind of thrown us off as far as sending out prizes mm. in mm -hmm. a way. Um, we did send the majority of the advent calendars by Purilator. And we now have um, the website what well, we Jasmine has the website set up so that there is still shipping you can order online it will get to you on time because it's coming by pure later mm -hmm. UPS yeah oh UPS mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> um, but that being said we're thinking maybe a gift card will be the um, yeah will be the prize for this knit along right and that way you can put it towards Anything of your choosing at a later date when you uh, when you need more yarn for our next knit along, right? <laughs> Which will happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the table, we got kind of festive today. There is I don't know if you can tell, but some garland, some lights, little ornaments, and then a whole bunch of gift ideas or stocking stuffers. Yeah. So, so. if you're um, not sure what to ask your loved one for. Or if you would like to ask them to give you a gift card so you can shop on your own. There are all kinds of um, things. Project bags. Yeah, so I've showed it off here. Little 
chic project bag. So that is lined with an inner pocket and an outer pocket. In the outer pocket, I have some DPNs by Square. They're usually gray. We have some blue ones and some gold ones for the holiday season. We have interchangeable knit. Um, Hold off on that. I don't want to bring the... Oh. No, I don't want to take them out. I'm just going <laughs> to... Okay. Yeah. So there's all kinds of small gifts. So if you're looking for something to add to something you've knit someone, we've got shawl pins. There's um, the soak um, wash for knitwear. And this stuff's great because you don't have to rinse it out. You just soak your item in it, squeeze out all the moisture, roll it in a towel, let it lay it out to dry, and the scent stays with it. So it's phenomenal. Yeah, I love soak. Um, the, the bigger fantasy. bottles are the better deal, um, but <laughs> but these <laughs> neat, yeah. These are great for travel size and to put in with someone's mm -hmm. object. Yeah, I think I have a bigger bottle here to show off. Like this is just more bang for your buck, right? Yeah. Um, also at the front of the table is a yarn butler, is what we're calling it. They're also known as yarn spindles. The whole thing Spin. spins and is detachable so as you are knitting you are pulling from the outside rather than the center of the cake and the whole thing is just um spinning as you go mm -hmm. perfect for knitting really quickly yeah we've got yarn bowls um by okay. done by a local potter and we have a, um some yarn boxes mm, a mango yarn box mango wood yarn yeah box. so it's got the um the curly q opening in the front and then it actually has a lid so if you've got small children or cats cats like that like to play with your cats. yarn that mm -hmm. kind of keeps them away from that mm, yeah. secure your yarn without having to use a bunch of plastic bags yeah and it being a box you can put like a little notion pouch in there and it's all put away. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because this time like... of the year with people stopping by, you want to mm -hmm. have it handy, but mm -hmm. out of the way. Talking about little stocking stuffers, um, the yarn snips are a good one. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They are uh, one piece. It's made forged from black steel and comes with a vegetable tanned leather cover to protect the blades. I'm going to take it out to show you. It's cocoa knits. Take off the cover and then... It's only good, really, for yarn and other, well, no, just basically yarn. So no one will ever steal your scissors again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, we have, of course, the pewter shawl pins, which are... There's a are variety of patterns. Lovely. Yeah. Many ways to wear them with your shawls and even, like, silk scarves. Of course, the pom-poms. We only have a few left this Christmas. They're going quickly. And um, the cocoa knits stitch stoppers these are a lot like your needle protectors they're nice because they come in different sizes so they don't get stretched out on large needles and, because they're small ones that are specifically for your small needle and it's great for traveling and then your stitches don't come off right and then we have um i'm just going to read it colorful triangle stitch markers these are also from coco knits three sizes um from one to nine millimeter, 54 markers because you get um, three of each size and color. So you get three of each color in... In each size, yeah. yeah. And they're, they're nice because I like to have some bigger ones for like the end of round or if you've got the sides of the front and the back of your sweater or whatever. And then... And with your square needles, triangular stitch markers just work better. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just some stuff to sprinkle in there in case you need gift ideas or you're writing your um, wish list to Santa now. But <laughs> and of course, um, it's Advent calendar season. You whispered that to, they couldn't hear you. You're going to have to say it It's again. Advent calendar season and we're excited <laughs> because for us it was thrilling already because mm. we get to put them together and figure out the order of the yarns and the names and mm -hmm. all the little information about why it's named what it is and then all the extras and mm. you were busy today taking some pictures yes. because it finally didn't rain. We haven't done the write-ups yet for why it is named the way it is. But got, we already know. I got two days left to get all that done. <laughs> because, yes, we're opening this Sunday. We're opening our first 
Um, it's just December 1st, so your first Advent day, but it's also the first Sunday, the Advent of the Advent calendar. Yeah, so there's so. an extra right to go at the get-go. Mm. So, that, yeah, the first day is always a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. I think that basically covers everything. Yes. If you're still chomping away at getting all your stuff knit for Christmas or you need some more ideas because... You have extra time and you want to knit for someone else. We have lots of things that you we can mm. come and help. You can help. Yes. We, we can help. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a ton of new yarns in the store. So as well as carrying our brand of naturally dyed yarn, we do have other earth-friendly, got certified um, organic yarns that we carry just because we get um, a lot of people asking for chunkier weights or, you know, heftier stuff or different colors so yeah um we got in some wonderful tweed chunky and some hand painted chunky yeah airless no, it's not the big thick chunky this is like a bulky weight instead of the mega weight mm. leaning more towards Aaron than bulky right right yeah yeah and then um what else what else got more silk there was a whole slew of new sock yarn and you know how I feel about that, that we want to get away from synthetics, but do people do like um, the nylon in their socks. So we went with more earth-friendly options, um, limited amounts of polyamide and mm -hmm. nylon and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So they feel really soft and they're all in oh, gorgeous colors. Yeah, I now I want to knit that too. <laughs> so yeah, there's lots to choose from in shop. And um, if you live close by, Come in, come and see us. If not, um, look online and, you know, you know yeah, we make can still get jealous. it to you. We can mm -hmm. still get it to you. But if you are in the um, Halifax, Dartmouth area, we just delivered to both Fia Fia and The Loop. So yes, there so. are yarns closer to you available as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's about that's it. That's it. We did it all. Yeah. Wow, so thanks like for joining us again this week. Mm -hmm. If you uh, like and subscribe, please. So please that... like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Any amount of interaction really helps boost us. And we do want to someday get enough followers that we can go live from YouTube. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, hopefully it uh, turns into a bigger sort of podcast. What was I going to say? Oh, if you live locally tonight, we are doing our knit circle. Oh, yes, it's knit night mm. at Waterview Restaurant and A1 Pizza. Yeah, it's sort of like A1 Pizza in the front, Waterview in the back. I, I never know what to call it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a lovely place, and they are happy to have us. Yes, and they have their Christmas day. tree up. Yeah. I saw the post. Okay. They have a red Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. That's it for this week. We'll see you tonight. Post your photos in our Facebook group. If yes, you aren't on yes. Facebook, send them to us via email and we'll post them for you. And um, we'll see you next week. Okay. Till then, be natural. Be you. Bye-bye.